Hello, everybody. I am Mr. Thaddeus. Mr. Thaddeus, and today we are going to go over the finer points of DJing in Second Life. Uh, I haven't seen too many videos of people giving short little tutorials on how to DJ, so I figured what the hell I'll do it. Uh, first thing you need is, of course, music. Um, the whole point of being a DJ is playing music, right? Second thing you will need is a stream. You can get a snare several different several different um places to get streams at. Uh, I get mine from Stream HUD Stream Hood. Uh twenty five bucks a week. Twenty five L's a week. I got it for probably I don't know, three months, three, four months. Um pretty cheap. Uh, last I checked, there was one other free one, so, um, yeah. Next you'll need is a program. I use SAMS. This is SAMS 2017. This is the, um, uh, this is the demo version. Uh, full version is $300, if I remember correctly. Um, there is another version of Sam's out that a lot of people use. <clears throat> but today we're going to be working with Sam's Broadcaster Pro. New one. Okay. After you go and purchase your, your stream, uh, prices will vary. Oh, uh, shoot, I remember when they were a thousand L's a week. That was a long time ago. And then again, maybe I was ripped off. But you get a note card. Note card will be your IP address for your stream. Then your port. Then your password and your land URL. Think of your IP address as like your street. Your port, think of as your actual house, your house number. Then password, obviously password. The media URL is what what you and employers use to be able to hear your stream. You can actually take your stream, copy it, paste it in any browser, and bam. It will show up. It will give the song that is played. Um, give you the option to listen. It will give you the song history. The status, which status is currently, I'm currently down. Which means I'm not streaming at all. Um, yeah. Uh, when I've, in the past, I've actually put my stream out in my Facebook. And while I was working and had some friends on Facebook listen. So yeah. Um, now we are going to get Sam set up. After installing Sam's, you will come to you come to this. And it'll either be deck A or deck B. Um, you can have a bunch of windows and stuff there. I always clean mine up. This is about roughly about what I keep. Keep my two decks, uh, voice effects, uh, sound effects, your history, your cue, and your encoder. Encoder is what we will put. Think of your encoder as like your your uh, place that you log in. All right, we're gonna hit 
the plus mark. We're going to go down to MP3 lane dot dash en underscore dash enc. On the other one, this will be MP3 regular, if I remember correctly. You will hit OK. Then here, we're going to bit rate. Bit rate is 128. Other one would be um, it'd be a little bit different. Um, you have a you have a drop down menu where you have to pick your rate, your bit rate. What that is is this right here, 128 kilobytes per second. Um, on the other one, you will be looking for. You, they have them at 128. They have them at 92. I think they even got them smaller than that, uh, or lower than that. But you want to find your bit rate. Your kilobytes per second at 44.1 megahertz. Okay. Um, after you collect, after you selected those, you go to server details. Here is where you actually log in. Come over to here, IP address. Copy that. <coughs> Bring it up here. Post it in server. Oh, <laughs> jumping the gun. This is the V1 setting. This is V1 setting. So what we will do is come click on V1. Okay. Then we will copy the address. We will copy the port. Then we will copy password. Now, unfortunately, you cannot change your password in a lot of, I think there's a few that will let you, but I've never had one that I was able to change my own. <coughs> okay, make sure this is server type shoutcast. After you click all that, don't mess with anything here. You don't need to mess with anything on the stream archive. Okay. Just click OK. As you see, it's come up right here. All right. Uh, first thing you want to do after you got that done, highlight it. Click the play button. We're looking for status encoding. That let you know that it's going. All right, now that it's encoding, we will come back in here. We will copy this, land the media URL, which is also the land URL, also what it's called. Go to sound, music URL. Now you don't want to do this everywhere you go. This is just showing you that if you, that, you know, basically how it'll work. You will normally give this to the DJ um, manager or the owner or the GM and they will put this in and such and such. Okay. Now that that is in, we'll close that down. Come back here. We will pop in a song right here. When you are DJing, make sure to do your your hellos and thank you for coming and and uh, promote the promote the club and some of the you know the things that are around it. Um, Of course, you know, when you start, it's going to start up at play Q, and that will actually play the, and actually play the song. Okay. Now, right here is your button to mute your music in SAMS itself. Okay, you can also turn the volume down. 
Best thing that I've learned is to keep Sam's muted. Come over here. Turn on media. There we go. Alright. As you can see, the way I, another way you know is because now playing Take Me to Church, rock cover with lyrics by, from Hauser by Dread Engine. And that is what we are playing. That's how you know when it's working right. When you go to voiceover, Bring this back up here. When you go to voiceover, try to voiceover after like three songs. At the end of the last song, flip this to manual. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. End of song. When it's under manual, it will just cut off. Then you come in, mic on. You always want to have mic on before you even start. Click to talk, and you'll know that it's working because you see the volumes going up and down. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for coming, such and such. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Blah, blah. Make sure to tip everybody, and have a good day. When you do that, then you move over the next track. You can move it over to either deck. I just so happen to have Brackish already in deck B. <coughs> then make sure to flip it back to play Q because blah 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 in the song you see that the next song queued up into the next next deck and will automatically start playing make sure to put it back on Q after you after you voiced over because if not at the end of the song it will stop and people will be like um, we lost music so, that is the gist of gist of DJing. Um, you can make some, depending on how busy you get, you can make some pretty good L, depending on the type of club and the amount of traffic. So, um, yeah. This is, has been Mr. Thaddeus with the DJ tutorial. And, uh, yeah. Y'all have a good day, and I will see y'all later. Take it easy, guys.